Hello and welcome to Excel Chapter 3 practice exercise number 1. You can see here we're going to be on page 587 of your textbook, page 587. And we are, I'm going to read the information while you turn there. It says the Hewlett Family Utility Expenses. Your cousin, Alex, wants to analyze his family's utility expenses for 2018. He gave you his files for the electric, gas, and water bills for the year, and you created a worksheet that lists the individual expenses per month along with the yearly totals per utility type and monthly totals. You would create some charts to depict the data and refer to figure 3.49 as we complete the exercise. So um, you want to open up, it says step A, Excel Chapter 3, P1 Utilities, and let's save that. It's a file, save as. Browse, I'm going to make sure I'm saving it to the right folder. You need to do the same thing. And of course, we're changing the name. We're adding underscore last name, first name. And then I'm going to push enter. Step B, it says select the range A4 through E17. A4 through E17. And then, of course, we hover over that with our mouse. We click, click, uh, excuse me, click quick analysis. We're going to click on charts. And then we're going to choose clustered column. And when we hover over them, there's no um, names being displayed. So we're just going to go with this first one here. All right, and it comes up. Then it says step C. We are going to select chart fillers or filters excuse me to the right of the chart so over here this is it here chart filters and it says deselect the monthly totals checkbox so let me look here monthly totals we're going to deselect that it also says scroll through the categories group and deselect the year's total yearly totals checkbox and that says click apply to remove those things, which we did, and now it looks like this. Click Chart Filters to close. Then step D, it says point to the chart area. So I just move it to the area that's empty. When you see the chart area screen tip, drag the chart so that the top left corner of the chart is in cell A21. So I'm going to do that, cell A21. Oh, actually, let's move this a little bit over more. So A21, which it looks like right about here, A21. I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we can see it. Then step E, it says click the Format tab. So up here, Chart Tools, Format, and it says click the Shape with Box in the Size Group. So Shape with Box over here, Size Group to the far right. We're going to type in 6 and push enter. And then for the shape height box, we're clicking that and we're going to type in 3.5 and then push enter. Step F, click the design tab. Click quick layout in the charts um, layouts group. So over here, charts layout group, it's right under home and file, quick layout. And it says then click layout number three. So this is layout one, two, and then three. So I'm going to click on that. Step G, it says click the chart title placeholder. So I'm going to click on this here. And it says type monthly utility expenses for 2018. And then press enter. So monthly utility expenses for 2018. Step H, it says click the chart. So I just click in the chart area. Click the more button in chart styles group. So up here's my more button. It shows me all the available ones. Click style number six, which it looks like style six is this one. And then it says step C or step I on the next page. Click copy on the home tab. So I go to home tab, I choose copy. And then it says click cell A39. So down here, cell A39. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. And then click paste. So I'm gonna go back up here, click on the clipboard. 
And it says with the second one selected, so down here, the second one, in cell A39, or at least where it starts, it says click the Change Chart tab. So I need to go to Design tab, so Chart Tools Design, Change Chart tab over here. Or type I should say and then click line on the left side of the dialog box so line on the left side line is about four down in my list and it says select line with markers so line with markers which is this one right here the first one with the markers and then click OK Then it says, click the electric data series line to select it. We can see the electric is co blue colored, so I'm gonna click on the blue line. That is what it's talking about. And then it says, click the highest marker to select only that marker. So I'm gonna click here, and you can see it selected just that one. And then it says, click data labels. So click chart, oh, excuse me, click chart elements, and then data labels. You can see it shows a data label here at the very top. It says repeat and adapt the previous bulleted step to add a data label to the highest markers for gas and water. So we got to do for the other colored lines. The highest one for gas is over here. It's this one. So I click on the line. I click on the dot itself. So you can see which one I selected. And then same thing. Cl click data labels. And then we're going to do that here for water as well. It looks like the highest one for water is I'm guessing right here so I click once for the selecting of the line and then I click here to get the highest dot and then I'm choosing chart elements and data labels again then click chart elements to close the menu so that's what it looks like at this point let me make sure I got the right dot I guess so. Then we are going to go and it says select the chart, which I do have it. So I'm going to click once in the chart area to select the whole thing. And it says copy it, which I'm going to go to Home tab and choose copy. And then paste it in cell A57. We're making another one. Now you notice I have to kind of scroll down and get to it. So I click A57. I'm going to paste it in there and we have a third one yay step J it says ensure that the third chart is selected and do the following so we got three charts so far click the design tab under chart tools it says click change chart type in the type group so over here change chart type select area on the left side so over here we're going down about six, seven maybe, click area. And then it says to click stacked area. So we've got, this is stacked area right here, the second one. And that's what it looks like. And then click OK. Then the next part of the step is that it says click move chart in the location group. So move chart, we're choosing new sheet done this before we're clicking area chart and then OK got a whole new worksheet now select each data label and change the font size to 12 so I'm gonna click on this one up here I'm gonna go over to this one and click on it I'm gonna go over to oh let me try it again can I select multiple okay I guess I'm going to do one at a time so I click on the 82 change it to 12 font size on the home tab I'll go over here to this one change it to font size font size 12 and this one right here so I click on it and change it you notice I type in 12 and push enter and it says move each data label up closer to the top of the respective shaded area so 82 for instance I'm gonna move up to here I'm going to move 115 up to here. 
there we go and then move this one here as well for orange up to here then it says select the value axis axis which is over here I believe so I click on it once and change the font size to 12 so over where these numbers are and then I click on it and change it to 12 oh I went a little too far 12 then it says right click the value axis which is right here and it says select format axis it's gonna bring up the format axis dialog box or task pane excuse me scroll down in the format axis task uh, pane it says to click number so down here number it's at the bottom it's gonna give you some more options I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and it says click in the decimals places box so right here it's got two it says to type zero so I'm gonna put it to zero I'm gonna push enter to apply that and you can see you got rid of the decimal places and it says clomat close the format axis task pane and then it says change the font size to 12 for the category axis and the legend so down here is the category axis that's also the horizontal one I click on it once change it to 12 point font and then I go down here to the legend click on that once and change it to 12 point font step K it says click the expenses sheet tab so down here expenses sheet tab we're gonna select the line chart so we've got our different charts here and we're going with the line chart so I click here um, I'm gonna click in the chart area that background it says click the design tab up here chart tools design click move chart in the locations group select new sheet what a shock and then change it to line chart for the name and click okie dokie aka okay it says change the font size to 12 for the value axis so that's over here I click on it once go to the home tab change it to 12 then it says the category axis which is down here the months change that to 12 and then it says data labels so I'm going to this one changing it to 12 I'm going over to this one changing it to 12 going over to this one changing it to 12 and of course the legend so down here at the bottom changing that to 12 point font alright it says format the vertical axis with zero decimal places so I'm gonna click on it then I'm gonna right click I'm gonna choose format axis and then I'm going down to my number uh, area and decimal places changing it from 2 to 0 and then push enter to apply you can see it changed then it says right click the chart area so up here and then it says to choose format chart area so I'm gonna select that it brings it up here in the format chart area in the task pane it says to click fill right here I'm going to select gradient fill and then it says click the presets gradients arrow so over here preset gradients clicking the arrow and it says to choose light gradient accent one which is this one I believe yes the top left corner I click on that and it has that selected already and it says click close the format chart area task pane so up here I click on the X it's very bright. <laughs> Just let me look and see. Okay, it doesn't point out. It's hard to see, but at this point, that's what the book is telling us. So let's do that. Step L, it says click the expenses worksheet. So expenses worksheet. Select the range B5 through D16. So I'm going to go up here to the top. B5 through D16. So these numbers right here and do the following it says click the insert tab 
and it says to click line in the Sparkline group. So I go over here past charts and tours, I click on line in the Sparklines group. Then it says click in the location range box. So we're actually, it already put it there for us. Um, you may have to do it yourself. And it says to type B18, B18, colon D18, and click OK. So B18, D18, and of course we already selected these here. And then we have our wonderful spark lines down here to show that information to us. It says click the high point checkbox in the show group. So I go up here to the show group, click high point checkbox to select it. And it also says click the low point checkbox to select it in the show group with all three spark lines selected. So I didn't click anywhere, so they were already selected, so it didn't make the changes to it. Then step M, step M, create a footer. So I'm gonna go to page layout. I'm gonna go in the page setup group and click the dialog box launcher. Going to the header and footer tab, and then custom footer. And we're just doing like we normally do. You're putting your name on the left side. In the center, you're putting the sheet name. In the right, you're putting the file name. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK again. And then, of course, it says to save and close your file. So I'm going to show you very quickly here um, what it should look like. We have three worksheets right here, area chart, line chart, and expenses. Your expenses one should look like this. with this chart here. Then you have the line chart worksheet, which should look like this. And then we have the area chart, which should look like this. So those are the different um, parts of it. And that is how you complete Excel, chapter three, practice exercise number one.